smile. All right. Okay, let's watch it. Okay, you can get off the screen. Hey there guys, it is Rob, and welcome to my very first movie night. Every movie night I'm going to review a movie that I just watched. And tonight I'm going to talk about a film that really surprised me. And when it comes to the year 2022, it's definitely in my top 10, and it's definitely one of my favorites. And that is Smile. This movie was kind of creepy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting much. I saw the trailer and I'm just like, eh, it kind of reminds me of that movie Truth or Dare. This is 1,000 times better than Truth or Dare. I think that the 2016 one movie. Um, this movie... Reminds me of It Follows mixed with The Ring. Um, it just it has that unnerving quality to it. With the really cool panning cinematography shots that they have. Slow panning. Um, you know, there's a shot where the lady is in her apartment and it's kind of dark. And she's looking around really slow. And all of a sudden you see this figure standing there smiling just like this. And it's very faint though, but you can you can see you can see the figure standing there. And that was like probably one of the creepiest moments. Um it was just sort of random, but <laughs> yeah, this movie really surprised me. I freaking love it. Um I know a lot of people that I talked to say they enjoyed it as well. But here I have the Blu-ray and it says once you see it it's too late smile certified fresh on rotten tomatoes this thing includes the terrifying original short film that started it all not really sure what that is it's called let's see laura hasn't slept short film that started it all with introduction by the director parker finn also has uh, commentary, all kinds of stuff. <sighs> anyway, guys, um, so you have this doctor uh, named Rose who experiences this patient uh, talking about bizarre um, images that she's seeing, and she's also seeing this thing that's smiling at her. And she's so afraid and she's, you know, like just going kind of nuts. And then all of a sudden she freaks out and she ends up dying in front of Rose. Rose witnesses this whole thing. And so ever since that happened, she like goes home and then now she's starting to see the same thing that that, that one girl was seeing. Um what I love about this movie is it's kind of psychological too. They kind of like go back and forth like, okay, is she just, you know, did Rose experience trauma? Is that why she's seeing this stuff? Is it just in her mind? Or is she really seeing this? Um, she, it, it, it kind of builds up. Like, it's not all at once. It builds up to where she sees something. Then it starts to get worse. Um, and there's this thing that kind of reminds me of the ring because they do some research and they find out that this thing kind of, it will keep doing this for so many days. Some people say it takes a week for it to come after you. It takes a few, like four days, two days to come after you. It's kind of random. So in a way, it's kind of like the ring where a ring, the ring took seven days and then she comes after you. So it's like, I, I kind of like that relation. Now it follows... It kind of reminds me of that because this thing is always 
like following somebody whoever it's it's going after it's always there so that's kind of the relation to it follows not only with the really cool music but also the tense uh cinema you know cinematography the slow panning shots um really really looks awesome so so rose starts to experience all this stuff and she's a doctor like she she kind of has a like a diagnosis for what she's going through but then again she's only seeing this and nobody else is so when she talks to somebody about it they look at her like she's freaking stupid or like she like like she's crazy um so she like talks to like this cop and like um she's trying to get people to believe her so like every day it just seems to get worse and worse and worse and one of my favorite parts is when she goes to this old house out in the middle of nowhere it looks like like this old place that's basically abandoned and it's her old childhood home and she like tries to confront this thing and there's like really cool um kind of creepy scenes out, out out in that house um i mean you see this woman like afraid but then she tries to confront her fear um and tries to understand what what's going on so there's definitely an entity there's definitely something that is terrorizing her until the time it feels like it wants to attack her and kill her um and it's always somebody you can tell um when this thing is around because it's smiling and the way it smiles like everyone has a different smile to them they do like a man and then there's like this this um psychiatrist woman and the way they smile is different i like that how it's not always the same um but anyway a very creative film I, I i really like it a lot um it really surprised me i don't want to give too much away you know like about what happens i will say this though the ending i liked because with these kind of movies you expect like i'm not going to say there wasn't a happy ending but in these kind of movies you expect like the hero or the the person that's you know that it's the movie's concentrating on you expect all the time that everything's going to be okay there's a happy ending there's this and that this movie really kind of explores that but then it doesn't <laughs> that's all i'm going to say um i like how it ended i think it ended how it should have and i think that makes it a lot more creepier because now it, i want to say it's unpredictable so you're you you kind of know some information about what's going on but then you have no idea like it's honestly not following that same path that you think you know if you if you if you hear someone talk about what's going on with this thing just think something else because that's what it does in this movie so that's what i liked um yeah it's unpredictable i loved to just I don't know it, it was creepy if for for 2022 definitely one of the better horror films that year for sure that's just my opinion um but yeah i really really liked it so that's my review for smile um i don't want to give too much away definitely see it for yourself um watch it you know in the dark alone <laughs> or preferably when it's storming out i don't know it's it's <laughs> It's definitely worth, uh, you know, if you're a horror fan, I think you would like it. So, anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review, and uh, I'll be back with more of these movie nights. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.